Nitrocell Integrated E-Commerce presents RMS Shipping Setup and Configuration. The proper setup and configuration of your shipping carriers and services is essential to the success of your Nitrocell integration. In Microsoft RMS, the shipping carriers and services created there will be synced to your web store, configured further at the web store manager, selected by your customers at the web store checkout, synced down to your web store's database in the form of a web order, and finally identified by RMS POS as a valid shipping type which allows the successful processing of your web orders. For this demonstration, we'll assume our goal is to create three carriers with three to five services between them. Shipping Method 1, United States Postal Service, Domestic Priority Shipping, with flat $5 shipping for orders over $50 and free shipping on orders over $100. Shipping Method 2, FedEx Next Day. And finally, Method 3, we'll add a free in-store pickup option, which falls under the umbrella of shipping methods as we want this option to display alongside the shipping methods in the checkout. We begin in RMS Store Manager. Please note, RMS HQ users perform the following steps in HQ Manager and run the appropriate worksheets to the appropriate store. Select Database, then Shipping Carriers. In the dialog box, you're presented with the existing shipping carriers. For this demonstration, we'll start from scratch creating new carriers and services. If you wish to use carriers that already exist, please ensure the following configurations are made. Select New. Under the General tab, enter the carrier name, USPS. Note, for more information on internet addresses and tracking, see Knowledge Base Article 291. Now, under the Services tab, select Add. Enter the service name, Priority. In the Schedule of Charges pane, our next step is to either create a set of price ranges to charge the customer based on the order total or weight, or enter an arbitrary high value with a cost of zero, so that a price structure can be configured in the shipping rules, or so that shipping integration may be used to automatically calculate shipping costs. We recommend the latter setup for all cases. Select OK and OK. The pop-up box is correct in that you'll need to Z out your POS before it will recognize this new shipping type. However, for our purposes, no further action is required. Now we'll create another carrier, FedEx, and a service next day. And again, enter an arbitrary range, then select OK and OK. Lastly, we'll create the free pickup option Now that our shipping methods are created, we'll proceed to configure them further at the Web Store Manager. Like every other database change, you must first synchronize before further configurations can be made. Note, HQ users, after you've run the appropriate worksheets, use Client Sync to send your shipping methods to the Web Store Manager. Here, you can see the new methods have been synchronized. In the Web Store Manager, hover over Shipping and Taxes, and then select General Setup. Fundamentally, shipping relies on a reference to a geographic area where you'd like the service to apply. Here, our store is defaulted to the United States. By clicking on the country, it expands to show the states or provinces in the country. You'll notice the United States consists of 59 states, which is contrary to the traditional 50 states and the District of Columbia. This is because the United States also includes the outlying areas, such as the Marshall Islands or Puerto Rico. Knowing that most carriers don't include these areas in domestic shipping, you may want to remove them. To do so, select the tick boxes next to each area you'd like removed. Then select Delete. Please note that if you'd like to accept orders and ship to other countries, this may be added through this interface and modified in the same fashion. With our 51 state area remaining, we can now proceed. Below the states, we see the shipping configuration area. It's currently devoid of any shipping methods. 
To add one of the three we've created, select Add Shipping Method. From the drop-down, choose your desired shipping method. We'll start with USPS Priority. Please notice your opportunity to apply a shipping method to an individual state or the entire country. We'll choose the entire country. Inspecting the shipping method, we see the following details. Available to. This refers to the geographic area where it has been applied. Calculation method and range refers to the charge method and range established in the shipping admin a moment ago. Shipping integration refers to the automatic calculation of shipping charges to the customer. The most basic integrations rely on only three sets of data. Your store's address, which is extracted from the POS database. The customer's shipping address, which they've entered into the checkout. And finally, the total weight of the items in the cart, which is established by your item's weight assignments in the POS database. To implement this feature, select Change and choose your desired carrier and service. Please note that you can apply any carrier calculator regardless of the name you've provided for the method. For example, you may choose to create a generic carrier name like Ground Shipping and apply a variety of different calculators to achieve your desired shipping fees. Shipping with integration is the simplest and most accurate way to control your shipping costs. The only labor involves adding accurate weights, including shipping materials, to your items. Please note that by utilizing the Product Attribute Manager, this process can be relatively quick, and by simply rounding up your weight values, you can add a level of protection against undercalculation. Note, if you've established negotiated rates or have chosen to integrate with Canada Post, your account credentials can be entered into the Web Store Manager under Settings, All Config Options, and then filter by the carrier's name. The shipping integration will then reference your specific agreement with the carrier. Lastly, once you've integrated with a carrier, the calculation method above will reflect the change. When your needs require a fee structure or changes to an integration's calculation, rules offer a wide variety of conditions and variables for allowing, denying, and manipulating shipping methods and costs. For example, it's these rules that will control the discounted shipping fees based on the order's subtotal. We've already established that USPS Priority will use the appropriate integration calculator. Next, we need to create two rules for the $5 and free shipping exceptions. Select Add Shipping Rule. In the dialog box, first select the condition source. Our rule needs to trigger on orders with a subtotal between $50 and $100. Choose subtotal and then a condition operator of is greater than and enter a value of 50 and add. Now to stop this rule at 100, we'll repeat the process using a less than operator. Subtotal is less than $100 and one penny and add. Please note the compensation by one penny to include the exact figure for our rule, 100. Lastly, we perform the option to override shipping charge to $5. Reviewing our work, we see we have built a rule that will trigger on subtotal amounts between $50 and one penny and $100 even. Our next rule will affect orders with a subtotal of over $100. Like before, select Create New Rule. Set the condition to subtotal, then greater than 100, and add. Because this rule affects all orders over $100, there's no need to add additional rules. Select the override shipping charge and enter zero. Moving to our second shipping method, we'll select again Add Shipping Method. Choose FedEx Next Day and allow its use for the entire country. We'll change the integration to use FedEx Web Services shipping method. Under Services, we can see a variety of next day and overnight services. For this example, we'll assume we've already researched FedEx services through their website and determine that domestic overnight meets our needs. Because this method requires no rules, we've completed its setup. Our final option is free in-store pickup. Once again, we'll add shipping method, free 
in-store pickup. To reduce confusion, you may elect to limit the display and use of this option to customers located in your immediate area or state. Alternatively, we can't confirm the customer's intentions in that someone locally may be picking up the package, even though the buyer is located across the country. For these reasons, we'll make it available to the entire country. Because this method requires no integration or rules, and no range of weights or prices and fees were established in the original method setup, this method will not generate a cost. Therefore, this method is complete, and we can now see all of our methods in action at the web store checkout. By adding items to the basket, totaling less than $50, and providing a valid shipping address, we can see the shipping integrations are at work, immediately producing an accurate calculation based on the information provided. Manipulating the subtotal by adding items to the basket, we can trigger the over 50 but less than 100 $5 flat shipping, and the over $100 free shipping option. Earlier in this tutorial, we talked about three to five shipping services. Quickly, let's review what we've learned to produce more shipping methods with names which clarify the offers we're making. As is, our shipping methods have the desired functionality our rules dictate. $5 shipping for orders between $50 and $100 and free shipping for orders over $100. But by creating additional shipping methods that include the special offers in the name, you can reinforce your discounted shipping methods to your customers. Using our example again, we'll create two more shipping methods. $5 priority shipping, orders $50 to $100, and free shipping for orders over $100. Then, by adding greater than and less than rules, we can not only control when they apply, but also when they display. Please note, the original USPS priority will also require editing. Select USPS priority. Delete the price override rules. And create a new rule, removing the shipping method when an order subtotal is greater than $50 and one penny. For $5 shipping, create a greater than rule and less than rule to remove the shipping option before $50 and after $100. Then create a comprehensive catch-all rule, setting the price at $5. A catch-all rule guarantees the price will always trigger. An example of this would be if billing address zip code is greater than zero. All customers are required to enter a billing zip code, and they will always be greater than zero. For free shipping, create a rule to remove the shipping option if the order subtotal is less than $100 and one penny. No additional rule is required because it never needs removing, and the price will default to zero if no other rules or integrations have been utilized. By performing the same tests as before, we can see our new methods and rules in action. Rules can be very powerful, but complicated as well. If your rules appear to not be working as intended, review your work for conflicts. Conflicts arise when one or more rules tell a shipping method conflicting conditions which cannot be accomplished at the same time. A reminder of this appears in the rule maker itself, if all of the below are true. The same applies if two separate rules are in conflict. This completes the shipping tutorial. For further assistance, see the NitroCell Partner Portal or contact support through the ticket system. Thank you for watching. NitroCell Integrated E-Commerce, helping you succeed online.